Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Budget Beauty Buys. So if you guys are new here, hey, my name is Kim. I go around to stores like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and we look for high-end makeup at discounted prices. It's so much fun and I'm happy you guys are here with me today to shop. So I actually already filmed this week's episode and <laughs> this week was so weird. I feel like there really wasn't too much. I definitely was like disappointed and I went to so many different stores as per usual and there just like wasn't that much so I hope you guys are still gonna enjoy it shopping with me I did find some new things so let's check it out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on post notifications so you do not miss out I upload tons of beauty content shop with me's hauls tutorials affordable beauty Dollar Tree so if you are subscribed and let's get on into budget beauty buys At my first store, I found this Kiehl's Skin Tone BB Cream. This was actually pretty cool, um, but I did look up reviews and it did have a lot of like negative reviews. This was $14.99. I found also this Fair Shade, so I was kind of like on the fence about that. Found new NAR Skin. NAR Skin Care. I had no idea they even had these. This was $24.99 and I did find this at um, a couple stores that I went to. They also had this restorative night treatment. So I have to look up reviews on these and see how they are. But this one was $19.99. And this was my first time finding anything from Goop, which is actually Gwyneth Paltrow's brand. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Goop Beauty. So these were like little glycolic peel pads. These were actually pretty pricey. They were $39.99. That's quite the splurge. Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Loose Powder in Soft Honey. This was $17.99. I also found Warm Natural. This is a new find this week. So many Morphe brushes this week and they were all at really affordable prices. So this is a round little shadow brush. This was the pointed concealer brush for $2.99. Dual shadow brush, or sorry, oval shadow brush for $3.99. I'm just showing you guys each one that I found. They had like a little fan brush, a crease brush. This guy was $4.99. This was a little liner brush. These were really pretty. They had a gold handle. And this was the curved contour brush. So it was only $3.99 for such a big brush. I thought that was a great deal. Some more little detailer brushes for the eyes, $2.99. Moving on to my next store. I'm telling you guys, it was the week of Morphe. I found tons of their palettes like this one um this was like a more of a warm tone palette for $8.99 the vintage rose 9v palette this was the smoke and shadow palette so more cool tones nars light reflecting loose setting powder in the shade crystal this was $12.99 this MAC Amplified Cream Lipstick, this was $7.99 in one of my favorite shades, Girl About Town. I love this color. It's like a very bright pink. So pretty. More Morphe brushes. These are some face brushes that I found, $9.99 and $5.99. Lime Crime Wet Cherry Lip Glosses. I found a bunch of these this week. They had Flaming Cherry and Unripe Cherry. And these were $6.99. And I found the cutest fall dash waffle makers. I love these, you guys. I actually collect them for different seasons. So they had this really cute maple leaf one. I had never seen this before. This one was $7.99. They also had the pumpkin. I feel like this is so random, but I found this apple cider vinegar hair serum. I thought it was interesting. It was $5.99. Cosmic Hemp from Pacifica. 
so many Pacifica products recently. That was a face wash. I also found the Amica Signature Room Fragrance. So if you like the way their hair products smell, you can actually get it in a room scent. And this was $14.99. These Sila Shine Fever Lip Vinyls. I found so many of these this week. Here are a couple of the shades I found. These were $5.99. This one was called Horsepower. And here is what the shade looks like. I have found this set previously, but it's the Give Me Some Sugar from Sephora. And it's like these little cute lip balms. And this was $5.99, definitely from a previous holiday launch. More Morphe palettes. This is the 9L Lavendays Artistry palette for $8.99. We have some pretty light purples in there. Another item from Goop, this is the Goop Glow Body Luminizer. This was $16.99. MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick, I actually just saw, saw someone use this on TikTok. NARS Lipstick, and this was in Jolie, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but looked like a pretty rosy color. MAC Amplified Cream Lipstick. And that's in the shade Smoked Almond. This one was called Good Form. This is the Luster Lipstick. This next one was called So Shod, and it was a matte lipstick formula. And these are always $7.99. This duo set from Buxom, it had a plumping lip gloss and their mascara. Estee Lauder Double Wear Makeup Wipes. I had never seen these before. NARS Voyager Eyeshadow Palette for $9.99. Becca Bronzer. This is the Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. We also have, um, <laughs> there's another shade, Bronze Bondi. So I'm curious how these are. Buxom Staycation Vibes Primer Infused Bronzer and Rooftop Tan. Found this last week, but in case you guys missed it, I thought this was a really cool find. I really like these bronzers and they were only $11.99 and also found this last week Buxom Wanderlust Glow Highlighter in White Russian in case you guys missed this I really like this highlighter too it is $7.99 Sephora Illuminate Palette this is a highlighting palette with a few varieties of shades this was $9.99 this was such a cute palette that is new from Cara Beauty it was Bailey vs. Kaylee, so one side is like glitters and warm tones, and then the other side is more like blues and greens and glitters, and this was $9.99, so I thought that was so fun. I love the concept. Then I went to a different Marshalls. I found the Sephora Era Silk Lashes. They also had the style Amour. These were $8.99, and then this style Quill. I do think those were a little overpriced. Buxom Full Force Lipsticks. I have found these previously as well, but this is from their 90s collection. I did a whole video on these. Those are $6.99. The Miss Piggy Lip Balms from Ciate. Also found, previously found those. This Pacifica Lip Balm. Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Gloss. This was in a really pretty shade, Aphrodite. This was $6.99. It's like a kind of just clear glittery gloss pacifica cheeky cherry cheek stain that's a mouthful these were $4.99 i also had previously found those this etude jelly tint in peach mac cream sheen lipstick i love the cream sheen line this is the shade party line looked like kind of a deep brown on to my next store, I found this set from Velour Lashes. You got a tweezer as well as a lash glue. Those are actually a really pretty set. And this was $9.99. This BH Vanilla Strawberry Truffle Blush Palette was really cute. This was only $4.99. I did show you guys the plastic was on, so do not worry. I did not touch a thing. And this Coco Kine Resurfacing Sleep Mask. I really like the Coco Kine brand. I'm currently testing out one of their products. This was $9.99. And this Matcha Face Moisturizer. This looked really nice as well. They're more of a like natural skincare brand. 
On to my next store, I found this Pacifica Sienna's eyeshadow palette, one of my absolute favorites. If you guys have not tried this yet, definitely try them out. They are so good. This is the matte palette. I love these. They are amazing. Then I found this Morphe Blue Ya Away eyeshadow palette. Uh, you couldn't see the colors, but more of those. And this Morphe Glamazon bronzer, Glamour Bronze, for $9.99. And this is also a new find this week. Another palette. This is the Color Me Cool 9C. That's a fun one. This was $8.99. Stila Shimmer and Glow and Glitter and Glow, two of my favorite shades, Molten Midnight and Kitten for $5.99. I love both of those. This Anastasia lip gloss set, I think I found this last week. This was $14.99 and you get four shades and they looked just like fun, neutrals, some glitters. Guys, so let me know what you thought of this week's episode and also did you find the same stuff as me i feel like every store i went to even like tj maxx and marshall's everything was kind of the same the same stuff that i have found previously like the bucks and 90s lipsticks i found those like a couple weeks ago now i'm finding more so let me know if you found anything like cool and new that i didn't see at my stores i would love to hear from you guys comment down below thank you so much for watching and being a part of my family and interacting with me it means so much and really helps me out in this crazy YouTube algorithm world. So thank you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.